what's up everybody i'm back with another video i want to get my review finally out there now that everybody had time to see the movie um overall i thought the movie sucked um well let's talk about what i like but before i get into that this is not an anti-woman channel i know i have a lot of people coming to my channel saying you a, a woman hater and stuff like that no i'm not um, this is not an anti-woman, he-man, woman-hater channel. This is a harsh movie channel, criti criticism channel. I'm not the type of movie critic or reviewer that's going to blow sunshine up your ass like John Scampia and all those paid top critics, which they are. I mean, they're union affiliated. Um, <clears throat> I'm a self-funder, independent, and I speak my own mind. Um, that's why I can say the same thing, say, say the things I can say. Um, John Campier, Tyrone Magnus, they can't really say the stuff as filtered that I can because they're, you know, they get paid by the industry to promote their stuff. All right. And if you want proof, I have proof. But um, let's talk about what I like about the movie. Overall, it sucked, but I did like Barbie Land. I thought Barbie Land did a good job of displaying how the toys were in the 80s and 90s because um, that's the era that I'm from. And I remember my cousin having the um the the Barbie Playhouse. I remember seeing these in the secondhand stores, which I don't even think they have no more, where it was like a lot of used toys. Um, you always used to catch a Barbie something in there um, with missing pieces. You may get lucky to find the whole thing intact, but you know, pretty much the thing was pieces, you know, at the resale shop. Um, I think Barbie Land was doing there wasn't not enough of Barbie Land. I wish we would have got more of Barbie Land, but they didn't do that. Um, missed opportunity. Now, what I didn't like, I didn't I didn't like the fakeness of it. Now, I thought the director did capture Barbie Land, but I wanted like real water. I wanted a real swimming pool, a real beach. Um, it just looked goofy when Margot Robbie was taking a shower and there was no warning there was no running water she wasn't drinking anything um i didn't i didn't like that aspect of the movie i thought that was a missed opportunity but i did like barbie land um another scene that i i would say my favorite scene is the dance scene the earlier dance scene um where they was in barbie land and they had that music i forgot that track um dance the night away or something like that i thought that was a really good scene the music really brought out that scene so i'm definitely a fan of that lupia do du a lupia whatever her name is um i definitely enjoyed that scene um there was some goofy funny moments in there you know i'm not gonna lie it was a dumb fun movie which what i expected um but the message was just awful um I did like that they mentioned Zack Snyder in this movie. They mentioned the Snyder cut. So, that, you know, that, that just gives me hope that Zack Snyder and WB is listening to the Snyder fans. And it seemed like Snyderverse is becoming a pop culture phenomenon. Um, which hopefully they will restore it. I got faith that they will. Um, but I like that they mentioned Zack Snyder, <laughs> you know. Um, and the Snyder Cut, and you know, I thought that was a, a real cool moment. Um, let's get to the dislikes. Um, okay, yeah, I don't like how the men are portrayed. They made them look weak, um, me, weak and dumb. Um, the Cans, I thought the Cans did a good job, um, but a lot of them look too damn old. They look very old, I, and this is the problem with this movie. This movie, Barbie, you would think it's supposed to cater to like child, you know, kids, sixteen and under, in that in that range. This is an adult movie, and the actors, all the actors, look too damn old to be doing this. They look goofy as hell. Um, the kids look too old, you know. They looked it really. It looked like they was in their forties. Um, they looked at real girly like some of the costumes they had wasn't really masculine now i know they tried to copy you know the um the outfits from the 80s and 90s 
Um, it, it just didn't work because these guys looked it old. They looked it really old, and that's <laughs> bad. Um, and it's not just the male. I'm not bashing the male because even Marco Robbie looked it old. All those Barbies looked it like they was in their late 30s and, and 40s. That's just what I seen, you know. So, um, what else did I like? Uh, did Margot Robbie do a good job? I thought in some scenes she looked cool, but overall, um, again, this woman, I mean, she's in her early 30s, but in this movie, she looks like she's in her late, late uh, 30s and early 40s. They All the Barbies in this movie looked at old. They looked at really old and which made the whole movie just goofy. Um, in my ne in my next video, I'm really going to break it down, break, break down what I've seen, because the way I analyze movie is from a sociological perspective. It's not just what I, it's what I see in front of me, but it's also a sociologist, sociological um, observation that I do. You know, just because of my education background. And this movie does a lot. It pokes fun at men and women. Um, it's definitely a dis disrespect to young girls. Um, but this really makes fun of older men and women. Like, th once you watch this um, video that I'm going to put up, you'll understand. But Margot Robbie looked it old. I'm, I'm not lying. Like, so I'm saying she looked at cute and stuff like that. But when they did like that first thing by her, by her getting out of bed and stuff like that, you can you can see bags and shit under her eyes. Like, and this is like throughout the movie. It's not just that scene. Like, all those Barbies looked at old. They wasn't young, um, and, you know, just a young. They didn't have a youthful appearance about themselves. They seemed like a bunch of older, bitter women, white women. Um, now there was some black Barbies in there, but we already, I wasn't surprised with them. They looked at old and of course they had, you know, the black president and black female president and stuff like that. But, um, the queen, they had a queen black woman in this movie too. So the queen black woman was in the <laughs> little mermaid and she was in this Barbie movie. Go figure. Right. Um, but Margot Robbie, she just looked at too old, man. Um, and it, it wasn't. It, it just started to be just really just clumsy at that point. Um, I didn't like that they went into the real world. I thought that was really unnecessary. I didn't see the purpose of them even doing that. Even though I know what the movie was trying to say, um, I would have rather just you know for for them to be stay in Barbie Land and explore that world. Um, this movie seemed like it could have been like a third movie if it was a trilogy because there wasn't no build up to any of these characters. You just got to go with whatever they say, you know, um, which I, I, I think that's where Marvel messed up the, mu um, the movie industry because now we expect for everything to have an origin story. Um, but this was a this was not a good movie. I mean, all those women, they looked at old. Um, even the men looked at old. Um, as far as the men goes, they looked at, um, they looked, they looked girly. Like in this picture right here with the pink and all that stuff, Ken looks girly, you know, just by him having the pink bandana. Now, if they would have had like a black bandana, maybe it would have worked out better. But all the Kens in here, they just looked at girly, you know, um, what else what else what else i don't know besides them making ken look stupid and weak even when he turned on barbie it wasn't believable he still looked at weak and dumb and and, and just looked like he looked at girly they all all the kings looked at girly um again i think the real world i think all that stuff was just unnecessary really didn't need it um And that's about it. I, I, they just looked at old man. I don't. I, this movie to me is poking fun at feminism, but it's also poking fun at single women in their mid thirties and forties. Um, 
I think this was a bad movie. Oh, and I, the, the one scene that everybody talks about, you know, the scene that was real, real cringy was that scene where Barbie, they're trying to um, contemplate how they're going to get over on the men. And it's just that three or four minute uh, dialogue about women's independence. Like it, that was a real awkward moment. And everybody in the theater, because the theater was packed, everybody was like uncomfortable at that point it was like what is this where where is this getting at you know we, the movie started off as a fun jokey dumb fun movie and that three or four minutes really just like it was just like an awkward situation where like people were just like what the fuck you know saying that women is is always supposed to have babies and they're not supposed to do this and that that little moment was just real cringy and that was pretty much that director's choice of what she wanted to say so this movie overall it was dumb fun however it sucked it's really bad for um kids that opening scene where the kids uh is smashing the uh, the baby dolls i thought that I, that really took me out of the movie right there um because that's what little girls supposed to do they supposed to want to nurture babies and stuff like that and then when it cuts to the scenes as Barbie's coming more popular, they, they tear up their uh, kids and they bash them over the head, they baby dolls over the head and stuff like that to play with Barbie. I thought that was just real dumb and cringy. Um, overall, the movie sucked. It is it is a dumb, fun movie. Like I said, the only scene that I liked was the dance scene with that music playing in the background. Um, I actually got that track on repeat. Um, Cause I, you know I'm a musician So I like stuff like that But um, This movie pokes fun at you women I mean I know it's, it's It made men look stupid And in my next video I'll explain why It makes older women look really Desperate And it just makes them look Retarded and crazy Like These are 40 year old Like the, mo the movie portrays these women Looking at four, As 40 40 year old women independent women so this is definitely a feminist agenda um like i said on my next video i'll get more deeper into it overall the movie sucked this is not for kids this is not for kids i know grace randolph said it's for kids 10 and over no it's not 16 and under you know um and like i said nobody in my household is they're forbidden to see this movie so um beware you know, Hollywood is coming from your kids, but I got more content coming. Be sure you check out um, the next video where I break down Marco Robbie's character because this is poking fun at you women as well. So that's about it. It's your boy, Harsh Critic. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.